Before coming to work here in New York, I actually worked in a small paper company in San Fernando, California. Yes, go ahead, make your jokes. Anyways, during my breaks and lunch breaks, I would go into the community, talk with people, share a couple tracks about Jesus, and even pray with a couple folks. And reactions varied. Of course, I got rejected. Some people didn't want to hear about Jesus. Some people didn't want to pray. People thought I looked crazy for doing such a thing. Uh, but the other side of that coin is some people were willing to listen about Jesus or to hear about the Word of God, anything that encouraged them through the Word of God, or even pray together. And who knows, maybe at that point of time, maybe that prayer was something that they needed to get them through some kind of situation that they've gone through in their life. I may not know. In fact, it says this in Steps to Christ in chapter 9. The humblest and the poorest of the disciples of Jesus can be a blessing to other people. They may not know that they are helping anyone, but by the way they live, they may start waves of blessings that will get bigger and bigger. They may never know until they reach heaven how much good they have done. God does not expect people to worry about success. They do not need to feel or know that they are doing some great work. If they quietly and faithfully do the work God has given them, their lives will not be wasted. So whatever you are doing, whatever work you're in, you are in a field to work for Christ. I encourage you, take that step by faith. I implore you, do it. See what happens. See what God can do for your life, for their life, and your relationship with that person. With that being said, God bless you and have a wonderful Friday.